Programming the Autotrol Logic 740 valve is relatively simple. When you first apply power, you should get some flashing lines. If it goes into error 3, you will probably notice the camshaft back here is turning. What it will be doing is seeking the home position using the optical sensor. Uh, if it never reaches home, uh, make sure the optical sensor is in place. Uh, also make sure there's not direct sunlight uh, on the optical sensor. Otherwise, it's going to end up flashing arrows and now it's ready to be programmed. The program can, needs to be set for the amount of resins that are in your tank. Um, we have a chart on the website. We can also help you out with that. The average size system is one cubic foot, uh, 9 by 48 tank. And press the square key in order to be able to change it. You see this says 1.0. If you had like a larger 1054, you might pop it up to 1.50 or let's go down, let's say you had a three-quarter of a cubic foot or 0.75 uh, 8x44 tank is an example of that. I'm um, go ahead and... Oh, oh, one other thing, if this was used on a backwash only uh, you could go down to F, that would be a three-cycle backwash only, it would not be for softener or regeneration. Um, so if this is a softener you need to have in the cubic feet of resin for your system. Hit the square. Now it shows the time of day. The time of day is not accurate. You want to press the square again so it's flashing. And use the up or down arrow to change to the correct time of day, noting AM or PM. Uh, next step is the day of the week. Hit the square again to get it flashing and you can go backwards to Tuesday, forward to Friday, hit the square. Next programming step is regeneration time of day. Defaults to 2 a.m. that works good for a lot of people. But let's say you stay up late. You'd like it to uh, start a little uh, later, like at 3 a.m. You would go ahead and hit the square and advance to 3 a.m. or 3.01, no, 3 a.m. So now it's going to regenerate at 3. And of course you say, oh, well, wait a second, I get up really early. I want this thing to start at 1 a.m. and be done before I get up. Fine. 1 a.m. it is. Okay, now it's wanting to know how many days. This is just the 740. It's not counting your water. It just replaces the basic 440 timer. So you want to set the number of days. This is every third day, pretty typical. Uh, if your water's not too hard, let's see, we're going to hit the square so we can change it. And let's say we only want to go once every seven days. Now, that would be, uh, if you had no iron, small family, that might work for you. Uh, you have big family, a lot of iron, you might need to go every two days. Here again, you kind of have to know based on your capacity, your hardness, your iron. Uh, you may want to email us for some suggestions on that if uh, you don't already know. If you're replacing a 440 system, whatever you are using before would be a good place to start. That was based on the pins that were pressed in every second, third, sixth. And so here we're at every fourth day. Press the square. Salt amount. This is an S. I know it looks like a 5, but this stands for standard. That's about 9 pounds of salt per cubic foot. And that is what you should use in most cases. It does give you the option pressing the square so it blinks, uh, to low. I would not use a low salt setting unless you, your hardness is very low, under 10, city water, no iron. Uh, you'll just get in trouble if you lose, use the low salt setting. Standard is recommended, and then you also have high. High settings should be used if your water is extremely hard, above 25 grains, or you have more than, let's say, two parts iron. Um, that high setting is going to work much better for you just gives a couple extra pounds of salt per regeneration and uh, increases your capacity which is 30,000 grains on this uh, one cubic foot system since that's what we told it. And then uh, that's about it. You're done. Um, that's all there is to setting up the 740 uh, Logic simple day timer.